another reverse addition problem. This time I'm actually going to borrow on this guy. I don't know how on earth I'm going to make this work. Just to show you a side-by-side -side example of something that's very big and long. So 2 doesn't can't subtract 3, so I need to borrow. So this becomes a 0, and this becomes 12. So 12 minus 3 is 9. Well, 0 can't subtract 4, so I have to borrow from this guy. But there's nothing to borrow, so I have to go here. But there's nothing to borrow, so I have to go here. To, but there's nothing to borrow, so I have to go here. So this becomes a 6, and this becomes a 10. Well, i got to borrow one for here, so this becomes a 9 and this becomes a 10. But I'm borrowing one from here to give you a 9, so this becomes a 10. I'm borrowing again? Yes. So I'm borrowing again, so this becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. Good lord. So 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 6 minus 3 is 3. Okay, this to me is just, wow, ouchie. Let's go over here and do some reverse addition. So 3 plus what gives me 2 or 12? 3 plus 9 is 12, carry the 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 6 is 11, carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. So this is already, I don't need anything to get me to 10, carry the 1. This is 7 plus 1 is 8, plus another 2 gives me 10, carry the 1. 2 plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10, carry the 1. And 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Did I get the same answer? No. How did I miss that? 2 plus 1 is 3 to get to 10. Oh, I need a 7 there, which is 10, carry the 1, and I'm still good. So, you might claim that I made an error here, but in reality, husband and dog just came through the back door of the garage, and so my brain kind of slipped off into la-la land, which is probably um, tip number one. Math is not a four-letter word. Tip number one. Don't get distracted in the middle of a problem. Because if you do, your brain goes someplace else. So, if somebody interrupts you in the middle of a problem, scratch it all out. Start over. We'll do another example on another video.